community to me is um, any and everyone that you can make an impact on their life and vice versa. You know, they can impact yours as well. So if I can be a little ray of sunshine to somebody, if I can make somebody's life a little bit better, just a little bit different, or give them just a little bit of smile, that's my community. Floyd has actually been in the community since 1942, that's 75 years. Many of our employees were born at Floyd and now they work at Floyd. Not only do they provide the medical services that you'd expect from a medical center, they want to be involved in the school systems, they want to help. They've used their community needs assessment and they've determined ways that a health system can bridge the gap between public health and community health. Education is the number one way to do that. You have to be able to continue that relationship with them. And that's what I think community programs like diabetes prevention, that's, that's what they were created to do. Our diabetes education department reaches both our inpatients and again, reaches out to our community. The diabetes prevention program, it all ties together. Everything comes together to form just a wonderful organization that really has its handprint on the community. Cardiometabolic syndrome, which includes diabetes and hypertension, really pose great risk to members of our state. 1.1 million people have diabetes. 2.6 million people have prediabetes. Diabetes is in the top 10 of leading causes of death um, and disability in the state and leading um, chronic disease. We saw the need in our personal community. We needed to do something on the front end to discourage all these horrific complications that can happen with diabetes. With the partnership with Georgia Hospital Association, we met the staff from Floyd Medical Center and they were very interested in looking at their community health needs assessments and they really recognized diabetes as a priority for the health system, but the county and the health district as a whole. When we decided to do the program, they thought, what better way to do it than to offer it free to our employees. We had four life coaches trained. We knew that we could start two programs, one for a morning session, one for an evening class. The first six months we meet about every week. This is considered the core session. The last six months is considered the core maintenance. We do a small group session. They get a tracker. We talk about how to you know, log minutes and look at calories and look at fat and those kind of things. And then they also weigh every week as well for those first 16 weeks. The program is based on your lifestyle changes and that, that's not something we're going to do overnight. But the total hours for the entire program is 22 hours. So it's less than 24 hour period for a difference in your life. We had a 9% average weight loss within the group. Their activity minutes, they increased from the beginning 26%, which averaged 215 minutes. I actually hated exercise. It's a part of my life now. I can't imagine my life without exercising. Each time that I would see uh, any of the coaches, they would always encourage me and tell me I was always doing a good job. We reach out between classes, we send emails, we check with the participants to see, you know, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're tracking. I lost 40 pounds. I, um, I exercise more. My body looks great, I have to say. I go to the cafeteria and I see them and they're in there at the salad bar and they're in there looking at things and saying, hey, that's too much. Don't put as much on my plate, that's too much. And it's impressive, and so you can actually see that it is something that is going to work for them long term. You know, it kind of makes you smile. We recognize if we can impact our people here at Floyd, then we can start getting the um, community acclimated into the benefits of this program. Now we're introducing it into the community, um, going out to companies that are affiliated with our corporate health. We've actually screened over 200 people with these screenings, and we have also offered what's called our Class Zero that introduces them to the diabetes prevention program. 
The Department of Public Health is a great partner for us. You know, they've been amazing support for us. We offer training for the DPP. We offer accreditation for DSME and really a gamut of other resources that they can utilize to put in an infrastructure to control diabetes at the health system. We meet with them monthly on a conference call and it's um, all the DPP suppliers for the state of Georgia. Floyd is one of those health systems that receive funding from DPH through the CDC Division of Diabetes Translation. When we met up with them and realized that there was grant money out there, it was just like icing on the cake for us because we had already implemented the program. The money's been great because it's allowed us to facilitate things that we probably wouldn't have been able to facilitate otherwise. We're the second hospital in the state of Georgia to receive recognition by the CDC for our diabetes prevention program. Not only is that recognition for Floyd, but it's recognition for our diabetes educators. So it is an honor and we are just very proud to have earned that second spot. I normally like to take gold, but I'll take a silver on this one. I think Floyd is a great recipient for the Community Leadership Award because of the way that they've gone outside of the health system and really engaged community members and community partners. We're here to help everyone, not just our employees here at Floyd, but everywhere. In my heart, I have a family member, I have a friend, I have other people in the community that I want to be sure that we're caring for them in a way that really makes a difference in their life. I believe that it is important to take a stand in the community to make us a healthier community. They are a great, great uh, part of this community, a big part of this community, and uh, I'm just proud to be able to work with them as a superintendent of the local school system here. They have gone outside of the four walls of the health system to really look at population health from the county perspective, not just the individual perspective. They are treating the whole person, not just one patient at a time, and not just one disease at a time. And that's why they're deserving of the Community Leadership Award. If you can be a small positive force in somebody's life, you know, life doesn't get any better. I mean, I love to get up and come to work every day. What do you say? <laughs>